What's going on with your YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another big guy. So, hey, we're here in Maryville, Indiana, kind of close to like Chicago area. It's in like Crown Point. We're here in the South Lake Mall. Anyways, we have a, some type of event here. It's called like KixCon at the mall. And it's not like your buy and sell and trade event and stuff like that, but like, uh, you know, it's I'm here talking, you know, for panels. We're gonna be engaging with people, trying to like, you know, it's a different type of event. It's more of an engagement. But anyways, okay, so first things first, I know that's gonna happen. That's not what the video is about. The video is gonna be about today, right now here, is for the Playoff 8s because I can't believe they actually sold out, y'all. And it was actually somewhat kind of limited, as in like, there weren't that many pairs on Nike. If you guys saw it, Nike maybe had about, I think it was like 28,000, according to those websites, I don't know. But I mean, I saw some decent amount of L's and I didn't, it seemed like it sold out. Cause you know, usually, you know, with GR Jordans, you guys already know lately, especially this day and age, it's been kind of sitting. So it, was, it caught a lot of people to surprise. That's uh, a photo of like me right there. But anyways, no, but anyways, my question is to you guys is like, is this a thing that Nike is doing now? Cause like things have been sitting a lot lately. Is Nike gonna start cutting back? Like, you know, do the shock drops, get rid of like, you know, cause you know, shock drops are the only thing that basically makes the sales and cause some hype. During release day, it was like way less than, you know, what they had on the shock drop. So it kind of sold, it pretty much sold out and it caused a little people to panic. And right now we're at the mall. I actually took an L2 on sneakers app cause I really need a nine and a half. Cause I, I hit on a shock drop, but it was a size nine. But a size, you know, a Jordan 8, it fits a little tight because of that little sock liner booty. It's, it fits like a Jordan 7. Usually I go about a half size up. I have to wear a 9.5. The way with the size 9 in some shoes, like Jordan ones, I can wear like a size 9 if I really want it. Because sometimes it's cheaper. But yeah, I really need a size 9.5. So that's why we're in this mall. We're going to see. We can maybe do some leftover pairs. May, I think that might be the thing. That might be the way. Like... If everyone take L's basically online, you're gonna have to go to your store and see if you get some W's. And there's already people kind of lining up an hour before the event. Got about a couple people waiting in line for champs. Uh, like I said, it's the mall hasn't opened yet. You know, I came here a little bit before the event. All right, there's JD Sports. Let's see if they might have them because. JD Sports, they usually do their first come for serve yesterday, so they actually might be all sold out, but we'll see. Oh, I'm rocking the fours out today, y'all. Why not? You guys sell out the eights already? All sold out? All right, thank you. Well, we do have some fours. All right. Fours and these are, I've, I've, I haven't really seen these in hand. These look kind of crazy. Kid, I think these are women's size or kid size only. Dang. That's, that's, this is the last size you have? Eight and a half? Eight. Okay. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Locker. Most, I think most sizes, big size is done. Like I said, these things are probably going to end up selling out. So. Uh, we're gonna try to go some more stores, see if, see if they got them, man. We're doing a little bit of footwork today. These snipes, maybe they might have it. They got them right. Maybe they might have them in stock. Snipes, see if we have anything. Some nines, I haven't seen these. Um, let's see, it was a big store too. 13s, man, the disrespect. No one likes 13s, but I love my 13s. Let's see, IEs and even these joints, oof, white cement joints, <laughs> but the lows are way better. All they have left are grade school sizes, so, and preschool, so, hey, kind of sitting, <laughs> but they got, uh, I guess, I don't know if my kids will actually rock these. They Actually, my youngest might because it has the straps, but also now men's. I was wondering, did you guys, uh, did you guys sell out the eights? All sold out? Yes, they're high. That was, uh, it's done, guys. It is done. Oh, guys, it is done. All L's. If you didn't, even if you put a little bit of footwork in, 
I don't think these things would sit. Maybe some of your local area, maybe if they're sitting at your store, you guys can check it out. But, you know, I would still feel weird. I've been doing this for so long and vlogging in public, but I still feel, feel weird when I go to like stores and like I have a camera. Like I try to be a little, you know, incognito with it, but still. Like maybe, you know, I try to get people's faces in it unless they want to be or whatever. But like, you know, I just try to just do just, just me because, you know, maybe some people don't want to be on camera, you know? So I try not to be disrespectful about that. Uh, if you guys saw, we saw them all. People are already kind of lining up. I'm pretty sure these things are going to probably sell out again. So if you guys did not put your footwork in and try to go to the malls early, try to do some unclaimed pairs, you're probably going to take that L. But luckily, since yesterday I was at an event in Chicago, I wasn't able to do like my, my footwork and all that, which is, hey, that's on me. It's all good. But hey, shout out to the homie, man. You did get an unclaimed pair for me. My, my boy appreciates you, bruh. So I was able to get for retail my pair, nine and a half right there. So this is a JD Sports pair here in this mall. So he looked out for me and I said, like, right, I appreciate you, man. So all right, I'm glad to finally like at least get my pair. This is, you know, like I said, I just want a personal pair. And you know, it's just one of those things like, you know, it's OG colorway, man. It's not because, like, I was actually surprised that people actually want these things. I, I figured these things would have sat for, like, ever. Or, like, you know, how things have been doing. I just think now Nike, I think Nike now is going to start switching things up. Because they've seen how the market is. Or they see how shoes are sitting on shelves. I think Nike's going to start cutting back on inventory. Or do, like, more shock drops. And cutting back on like sneakers app on the release date. So people's gonna have to go out to the malls and get your pairs. And there's probably gonna be less pairs, like less stock now. So, hey, I hope we enjoyed it because back, you know, things were sitting, things were going on sale. You know, I hope people enjoy, enjoy that. Cause now I think Nike might be switching up. Things might get a little harder to get now. You know, obviously with Nike, you know, they're raising up the price at 210 or something and you know with too much stock obviously you're gonna see something sit i'm glad to have this in the collection og colorway you know i'm waiting for the bugs bunny guys i cannot wait uh if those i hope those come out pretty soon you know that was so i can complete my og jordan 8 collection you know i try to cop all the the og colorways as much as i can because hey again playoff eights all at how with the cardinal sevens those things were sitting for days they, those are still sitting okay <laughs> and i know the things like people don't really like sevens or eights it's kind of like that weird era which is you know that was a year that jordan won the championship his, his first three peats but again hey gives me that whole 93 vibe i'm all for it but anyways uh look i'm here for like a little meet and greet i'm here with my man's midwest pete this is his store in uh laced midwest it was good bro What's going on, guys? Place yeah. Midwest, South Lake Mall, Mayor of Indiana. All right, he did a little plug-in. He did a little plug-in. <laughs> but, hey, well, we got a whole vlog coming up pretty soon. We're going to do KixCon. Uh, we got to do some, some panels. We got to do, like, you know, some things for the event. So if you're here in the Mayorville area, make sure you guys pull up, guys, at KixCon. I'm, like, one of the special guests, so I appreciate them. So thank you so much. But anyways, man, uh, we got to get this show started here in about an hour, and then I'll see you guys then. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, at Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Yo, we out.